Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Escape Nexus. My name is Dan. And I'm Carl. Hello. So today, we're doing another list. Yeah. What we're looking for today is we figured, well, we complained last time, so this time we'll be a little more positive. So we're actually going to do the five things that we actually want to see more of in an escape room. Things that maybe we've seen in one or two rooms that we thought, wow, that really stood out. And I would love to see other rooms adopt that concept. Obviously not necessarily a puzzle like, hey, I want to see the exact same puzzle somewhere. But just a concept overall where if you saw that in more rooms, it would just be a lot of fun. And uh, that's what we're going for. So with that said... Let's start with your number five. Yeah, this list was a lot of fun and challenging to come up with because there are a lot of things I'd like to see. But my number five is, uh, it's like team puzzles is what I, I called it. It's basically a puzzle that takes multiple people to solve where, uh, I'll give you a quick example, just somebody's on the other side of the room and they have to shout numbers to you that correspond to symbols in the middle of the room and then you need to, I don't know, relay it to some switch on the wall. Something like that. Something very vague, but you need three people in order to complete it, and it would be impossible to do with just one. Yeah, and I, I would agree. Uh, that may show up on my list. Uh. <laughs> so I will say that later. <laughs> Starting off with a So I will go to my number five, and my number five is a sense of urgency. Uh. I believe that some of the rooms, now obviously not all of them, whimsical themes, you don't need that, but I... I do want to see a sense of urgency in some rooms. And I know some people may go, whoa, 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 you hated lose conditions and all that stuff. That's not what I'm talking about. Mm. But I do like the things that kind of try to push you on. Uh, there's certain horror rooms that have actually done that where it, it's giving you that sense of urgency because obviously your adrenaline's pumping and you're, you know, you're running from room to room. Totally. But I've seen other ones that have done it as well where there's just a way of adding that, uh, you know, all of a sudden, you really feel like you're locked in, or you really feel like, I better get to the next room because I just don't want to be here anymore. The story or the soundtrack or something is pushing me through. And I'd like to see that more often in some way to do that. Definitely. Yeah, that's a good one. Shoot, you're not messing around. I'm not. I'm, I'm bringing it this time. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Okay. I like it. Definitely. Urgency. Number four. Uh, my number four. Um... Oh, so I was trying to kind of explain this to you. So my idea of a physical puzzle is something uh, that's not not mental. You're not you don't. It's not something you have to figure out. You know how to do it, um, and it's not something small necessarily like a a jigsaw puzzle. It's more like this is going to be the part where you actually need to use some of your strength. I kind of want to see something where you need maybe two people to lift like a heavy door or something and while you're doing that somebody slides underneath i mean obviously it could get dangerous Sounds at like that an point insurance claim happen, but... <laughs> that's the worst example i could possibly think of uh i just think it would be fun to i don't know scale a rope or All something right. in an escape room because i feel like it would immerse you more and make it feel it would feel feel you know more real and, and, and that one is a fine line for sure. One, obviously, like we just joked, insurance claims that out in this area Absolutely. obviously is a big deal. Yeah. Uh, people do tend to be so happy in this area. <laughs> but on top of that, uh, you do have to worry about, you know, I'm a bigger person. I've recently done a room, actually, where as a bigger person, I did not like the intro to the room. And I, I know there's plenty of people who loved it because they aren't... Uh, in the same situation as I am, I guess is the nicest way to put it. Yeah, that one I, I'm, I'm torn on. So All right. I'll give it to you though. <laughs> so my number four Which happens to be uh, team-based puzzles. Oh, <laughs> sounds familiar. I, I very much agree with that. I love any time we nice. find a puzzle where you actually have to work together and, and you know, m taking it to the next level than just, as you said, someone here, someone there calling something out, etc. There's one particular room I can think of in my head where not only was it a team-based puzzle, but it was more like a team-based activity. Ooh. And so you really felt the immersion in that sense because they did a great job selling that. But on top of that, we were all moving dials. We were all shifting things. We were yelling out orders to each other. Uh -huh. And it gets the adrenaline flowing. You feel like, wow, we're working as a team. I know it's very hard to do, but when someone pulls it off, it's fantastic. Right. Now, with that said, I don't want it to be 
but we just don't have to all press a button at the same time. No, that's not, not that. a team-based puzzle. Yeah, no. <laughs> that's just you wanted to make sure you had a certain amount of people in the room to pay for it. But exactly. But something that actually requires everybody to work together. Amazing. Right. Uh, number three. What did I write? Oh, um, <laughs> I couldn't find the number. Uh, humor. Yeah. Escape rooms that uh, are are uh, smart and witty within itself. You know, it could uh, it could be making fun of the room itself. Uh, it could be um, commenting on something in society. Uh, it could just be funny. It could just be a break from from uh, the room that you're currently doing, especially if you're doing like a horror themed room or something. A nice break of like, oh, that is so funny and also very, very creepy. We need to get out of here, like, which goes into your urgency. No, I, I agree. I, every room that I've ever done, I, I, it, there's something that makes me laugh besides my own stupidity. I love it. You know, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I keep myself entertained for sure, but if sometimes the room talks back to me somehow, I love it. I like that a lot. The room talks back to you. <laughs> I really do. That That's could nice. be a different issue, different issue. Maybe some medical thing. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> yeah, you should get that checked out. <laughs> yeah, maybe the room shouldn't be talking to me per se. <laughs> but yes, I, I I absolutely love seeing humor in a room, and obviously it doesn't fit in some rooms. But right. if, if you can make it work, then you know, great. Yeah, totally. Hopefully you're funnier than us. That's that's all we're saying. Yeah, it's tough. <laughs> it's a low bar that we set. Huh. <laughs> all right, what's who do you have for number three? My number three, Easter eggs. And I don't mean physical Easter eggs like you get, you know, when the Easter Bunny comes around. But ideas, pop culture references are always fun. Um, there's a, a room that is, you can tell they're video game players. And so there's all these little references about video games within the, the room itself. And it doesn't take away from the room if you don't know it. It just adds to it if you do. There's another room that's actually taking it to that next level. And that is where the Easter eggs become part of the room in the sense of, if you happen to find one, you actually get additional time. You oh, get yes. one minute per Easter egg. Great idea. Again, it doesn't detract if you don't find them, but it adds to the room. So it's only a positive in my eyes. Unless, I guess if, if you found out there were some after the fact and you go, oh, we didn't find any, maybe it's a bad thing at that point. But huh. I don't know if that would make it where I hate a room or not. I just, if they have Easter eggs, though, I always kind of laugh. Again, going back to your humor. Definitely. And I always love that they're... There's a little bit of a self-aware at that point, and we're not taking ourselves too seriously. Yeah, couldn't agree more. Easter eggs, it's just a, it's almost like a side quest, like another adventure that you have within the room. Whether you know it or not, uh, sometimes if you don't know it and you find it, that's funny. And that's, that's an exciting part of the, the room, and you'll remember that. So Very much so. Totally agree. Number two, uh, this is kind of a general uh, thing, and, and I think I've been saying it, but just like a story-driven room. I want to see more of it. I don't want to go into a room and just see... I'm kind of getting negative here. <laughs> I just realized. This was last week. <laughs> this is last week. But basically, I just I, I want to be immersed by the story, and I want the puzzles in the room to reflect that story and to push it forward, giving you that sense of urgency that we've been talking about. Yeah, and then that, that's obviously a very difficult thing to do. It requires a special skill set. But For sure. when it is pulled off, it's, it can be amazing. I, I agree that if you find a room that somehow they've, they've made the, the puzzles integrate into the story and they actually tell the story in their own way, hmm. um, which is really rare. I haven't seen that that much, but I have seen it a couple times. And when yeah. that happens, I think it's... It's pretty cool, and it definitely makes it stand out where it's like, that took some thought. What do you got for number two? My number two. I've only seen it in one place, in one room, and I want to see it everywhere. I want this to take over the whole industry. Let's hear it. Uh, hard mode. Oh. There's one room, and it immediately jumped to the top of my list when we finished before a certain threshold of time, and a hard mode kicked off. And I, I lost it. Like, I went, this is just a joke, right? And then they told us, no, there's additional stuff if you want to. And I thought that was, my mind exploded. I was, I was giddy as a schoolgirl. I love that. I was that. running around going, this is amazing. And now what do we do? And it was a genius solution to the problem of 
how do we make beginners happy? How do we make intermediate happy? Yeah. And how do we make those elitist enthusiasts who just never shut up about how negative <laughs> things are? And, uh, <laughs> you know, how do we make them happy? I mean, what a brilliant way to do it is, again, like Easter eggs, it doesn't detract if you don't unlock it, but it's there for you to make it even better if you do. And so a great way to scale a room, and I, I don't see why more people don't do it. And granted, it was more of the same in a sense, but they were the same puzzles done in a much harder way. Uh, they took a different thought process. So though we did revisit same places in the room, it took a whole different way of thinking to pass that. And then there's even that greater sense of accomplishment of not only do we beat the room, but we beat the hard mode version. Wow. Just fantastic. I think it's, it's genius. And yeah. uh, you know who you are who did this. Amazing job. I don't know. You have to tell me. No. I will tell you off camera. <laughs> okay. That's awesome. Yes. I mean, I love that idea. Uh, shoot, I, I need to do that. Yeah. I want to do that. Yeah, it is, it is just a great, great concept. So you solve the room first, like the whole room, and then it... As long as you solve the room before a certain amount of time. So hard it, mode. I think you have to solve it before 40 minutes. Holy... If you solve the room, then you then break hard mode, which then gives you another 10 to 15 minutes of play. So now you get your full hour, and uh, it's genius. It's it is. It's just genius. Wow, wow. <laughs> I'm blown away. Do I need to make that my number one? That I guess. needs to be your number one, man. How is that not your? What is your number one? I'm not telling you. <laughs> what is your number one? Uh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> nah, that's a good one. Uh, secret doors. I love them. I love when I can't tell when a door is there, and I don't know that I'm gonna be walking through it. Uh, spoiler alert for escape room uh, beginners: there are secret doors sometimes <laughs> where you're gonna walk. You're, I think you're that's not... more of a marketing thing for beginners. Oh, so that's true. Not a spoiler: if I knew there were secret doors from the get-go, I would have done these years yeah, before. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, it's just like you're like you imagine as a kid, you know, like oh, that bookshelf might open up. You know, that's what I've always wanted to see in escape room, and I have not been disappointed. So, so I want to keep, you know, I don't want to see, um, I'm getting negative again. What's yeah. wrong with me? Um, I told you. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't want to see hinges or anything to know that there's a door. I want it to just, boom, open up, you know? And there are, are ways to creatively cover up doors and secret passages and stuff. Um, and I've seen a lot of really good ones. So I want to see more of that. All right. I, I, I will agree with that, and I'll actually just go into my number one because of that. My number okay. one is, I called it surprises, but essentially it meant secrets. Secret <laughs> doors, secret things that I didn't realize were there. And I'm yeah. going to go, we're going to go back to story time here. As a child, <laughs> I actually had a house that my parents had built custom, and uh, they had a, what we called the secret room. And Ooh. I was a, you know, a five-year-old kid. And to this day, it's still magical in my head. And really, all it was was essentially a room where, like, an attic should be. <laughs> and uh, that probably, in this day and age, wouldn't fly as a safety regulation. <laughs> but I didn't care. As a kid, that was, it was mine and my brother's, like, magical little place to be, like, different from the rest of the house. And it had a small door. It wasn't a full-size <laughs> door. And it was one of those things where everyone would walk in and go, what's that? And it's just, it's magical. There's magic about secrets for some reason. And Agreed. Uh, again, in an escape room, I want that magic. I want that nostalgia. I want that, I didn't know that was there. Right. And uh, like you said, if they can cover it, amazing. Yeah. I, 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 it, it's, it's rare because normally you see light or you see a hinge or we've something. gotten to the point where we can kind of go, yeah, that's going to open up. <laughs> and uh, when yeah. they're able to disguise it and you go, I had no idea. Always an, an amazing moment. and just kind of makes my heart sore because it brings me back to that time as a child. Totally. That's awesome. Um, have you seen Harry Potter? I've seen some of Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> it just brings me back to the very... very you were in Kep there, right? Like in... No, only when we were really bad. Oh, no, sure. No, it was, it, was, it was our little special. We had baseball cards up there and we'd hang out. And it was just... It was cool. That's cool. It, it, it very much was a nostalgia thing, and, and kudos to my parents for doing that, and I'm glad nobody found out how dangerous it really was up there. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So, yes, yeah, surprises is my number one for sure, and it, I guess is yours as well. And it's so cool that we didn't even look at each other's lists beforehand. We never do. We never do. We write, write these, you know, separately. 
Very much so. Yeah, these are so. always separate because we want this natural and, yeah. you know, it's always fun when we do finally actually meet up on one or two because normally I just don't agree with this guy on anything. Nothing. So. It's really tough. <laughs> Anyways, that is the five things we would love to see more of in escape rooms. Hopefully yeah. this was positive compared to last week's negative. I tried. And uh, <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. As usual, we can do our like and share and yep. please subscribe. We love making these, right? I mean, I really enjoy it. We really do, it, yeah. Yeah. Um, if you have any suggestions on, like, the next list, write them in the comments. We'd love to know what you'd like to see, um, and we'll shoot it for you. Yeah. Pretty much. Until next time, I'm Carl. I'm Dan. And we'll see you later.